morning. It's a Sunday after my last vlog, which was the Lord of the Rings night, when <laughs> everything changed in London with our tears and COVID. Um, it was just a very weird day, and it was probably quite a weird vlog to watch, so I apologise for that, because um, I would have filmed more and could probably done some more things, but there was just lots of lots of conversations happening. Um, Will's actually on the phone to his mum right now, um, sorting out kind of our plans. I did mention it at the end of the last vlog, but our situation is quite, well, my personal situation is quite fortunate, I think, because my family weren't gonna come for Christmas anyway, and we'd already made that decision weeks ago, and it was really hard, and there was lots of tears, but we were like, we just don't think it's, we don't think we can do it safely, we wanna keep everyone apart, or just have as, as few amount of people coming together as possible. So like the rules were in the UK until yesterday, you could have three households come together for the five days of, of Christmas. And um, I mean, I don't wanna to get too into it, especially people who aren't in the UK, they're probably not that interested, but I mean, those were, they were ridiculous restrictions anyway. Like it, we definitely should have had Christmas canceled like ages ago, um, but it's just happened so close to the time and everyone is scrabbling around now because obviously people have bought food and some people have bought no food and it's all a disaster for a lot of people but luckily we had made that decision so I we have a food order we have a Christmas food order my parents obviously don't but we already are we're buying stuff for them so that they had some food on Christmas day so like we've already made some plans but what we were going to do was have Will's sister over so um that's all being kind of discussed and arranged with Will's family because there's a few more, there's a few more um, different households in Will's family because they live in different places. So they're just kind of arranging some things. But essentially it is a shitty Christmas at the end of a shitty year, which is not something anybody didn't see coming, let's be honest. Um, but I'm, I hope you're all doing okay. And I hope if you're someone who's been really affected by this, my heart goes out to you. Um, you know, it's, 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 just horrible and but that but that's realistic so <laughs> I'm not gonna ignore it as part of the vlog because it's that's what Christmas is this year um and yeah I'm, re I'm really really sorry for anybody whose plans have been really affected and oh, I am about to go see my parents actually obviously at a distance we're going to um do a gift exchange so I'm just gonna pack up their presents um, and drive over to their house and then I'm gonna go and see my friend Stephen for a walk which I'm actually again so grateful for because you're allowed in our area to be outside with one other person and we'd planned to just go on this walk a few weeks ago so now we're like oh we can still we can still meet up and walk around outside so that'd be really nice I haven't seen him in since before I had a bump uh, so pr probably set September, I think it might have been early September or something. It was, um, yeah, it was it was a long while ago since I've seen him in person, so that would be really lovely. And um, it's a bright day outside today. This is the perfect wintry day. It's bright, clear blue socks, guys. It's sunny. You know, it'll be like a nice cold walk in the park. I think this is this is what we this is what we need. <laughs> Okay, I might not take keys if that's okay, Will. Alright. You don't mind just uh, letting me in. Yeah. Go without it. Most of all, I hope you're hydrated because you will need. I'm sorry, I've done that classic thing where I forgot my camera. Um, <laughs> so I couldn't actually vlog. I left it in the car. So I couldn't actually vlog any of our lovely walk. Um, that we did, but also we were sort of walking, you know, walking quite fast to keep warm and talking a lot, so it probably wouldn't have been great. Um, but we did do our present exchange. <laughs> and uh, this is, um, Will's just bringing baby's present in now. <laughs> Apparently it was for me. I know. What do you think it is, honestly? I think it's, I mean, it's light. I don't think it's furniture, because you were worried I it's gonna be a it's, I think it's like a carrying basket or a Moses basket or something. Oh, it might be actually. We were talking about Moses basket. <laughs> There are more presents for baby as well. All this stuff in this wrapping plate, that's, that's for baby. And this one. Well, that one's, that one's for us too and, and Pip, it says. And look, this one's from Nanny. And it says, to baby bump Wade. From that's great Nanny. Thank you. That's adorable. <sighs> but this is, this is pride of place. Baby's, baby's got the best. <laughs> Careful. 
So I think we're basically gonna have a lazy Sunday now. Rest of the day, it's about three or four. I don't know what, what, what is time anymore, who knows? Um, and we're just gonna watch the second half of From Russia With Love because while I was watching Lord of the Rings yesterday, Will started watching it and then, bless him, got a bit tired and went to bed. So we just thought, oh, let's watch that. And just, um, yeah, I've got a few jobs that I wanted to get done before Christmas, which was mostly like cleaning the house. But I was like, tomorrow is my day for doing that. So we don't really have anything else to do. Anything that we need to do. Well, I don't, I think Will might do some more bricklaying. <laughs> um, so yeah, just a just a kind of chilled one. I think it'd be nice just to have some kind of quiet time, just us two, because it's been quite a lot of talking the last couple of days. And um, yeah, I think I'm probably gonna advocate for a Christmas film tonight. Um, I think we <laughs> I think we need it. This is not for a Christmas film, but it actually does feel a little bit like Christmas today because we started on the Christmas biscuits that I got from Marks and Spencer's and the Christmas Lindor chocolates. Um, and we're just watching regular telly. Like, what is that? Live TV. Crazy, but catch me if you can was on BBC, so you watch that. And now we're watching Reviving the Royals Antiques. Um, and then we want to watch something like Devon and Cornwall at Christmas or something, which is on afterwards. So we're just having a very kind of, very chill. <laughs> How's your wall? It's good. Will just went to check the wall to see if it was okay. Still standing? Still standing. <laughs> Bit messy, but still standing. This is Devon and Cornwall at Christmas. double day vlog uh, for this one because well almost a weekend vlog but it's actually Sunday and Monday instead of Saturday and Sunday I didn't end up taking too much footage yesterday and um, today is kind of like a jobs day so I thought I'd kind of combine them I've been trying to clean up the whole house Will has been finishing off his bricklaying <laughs> upstairs and I've been washing sheets hoovering up cleaning the bathrooms um, I'm just having a pause <laughs> at the moment I've done the downstairs and then it'll be upstairs afterwards and then we can um, kind of relax I just wanted to make everything like a level of clean um, before Christmas and I was kind of leaving it as late as possible especially because you know previously in my head I was thinking we were going to have guests and stuff so I was like right I'll just do it right at the very last moment I'll clean everything so it's nice and done Thank you. There's only one left, I'll put it in the fridge. Oh, cheers. Well, there's well, some coming in the shop to, uh, tomorrow, I think. Sweet. Thank you. But the main back of all the work has been broken, so that's good. Um, so I'm gonna have my, have my Coke. And um, then do a little bit more. And then it'll feel, it'll feel quite good then. Like there'll be nothing kind of hanging over us. Um, we've just had lots of little bits and bobs to get done, and we've been kind of waiting for the Christmas break to really address them. So, yeah. I think we're both being quite productive, to, quite productive today, I hope. <laughs> I also have to dig out a vase and something for these absolutely gorgeous flowers that arrived today. This is from my nanny and um, bless her, she is such a sweetheart because obviously she sent she sent a, a bunch to me and Will and also a bunch to my parents. 
um, we're coming in the dining room because I think there's a vase in here somewhere. But she's um, written on the card, thanks for all your help and kindness. And we've just been doing what kind of any family would do is like trying to look after her basically because she's living on her own um and right at the beginning of lockdown we like bought her a tablet <laughs> like i think it was a samsung tablet and i was like teaching her how to use it remotely over the phone my mum got her an email address like she didn't know how to do anything beforehand um my mum was showing her how to order stuff online they've obviously been doing some shopping for, for her and picking up her prescriptions when she couldn't get them delivered and all this stuff and she's been like oh my family my family have been so good to me She's so adorable and sent us flowers. But I think what's interesting is my mum, my mum particularly, but I think also me, are quite practical minded, like rather than sentimental. So we're much more likely to be like, well, of course we did that. We're not going to let you starve, are we? <laughs> rather than be like, oh, we just did it because we love you so much or <laughs> whatever. Um, so she sent us some flowers um, and these are really Christmassy ones, which is nice because I don't have any like foliage or anything around the house. Um, this room is where we were going to have Christmas dinner and it's just bare and horrible. Um, the only decorations I've actually put up is the tree and normally, or when we were in our flat previously, I would get some foliage, I'd go to the florist, I'd get a load of greenery, I'd, I have some garlands that I was thinking this year I'd put on the staircase, but honestly, I put these tiny little garlands on this banister and I like wanted to cry because I just it, I just didn't have enough. Um, and <laughs> it's such a small thing, it doesn't matter. Um, but because the house isn't decorated, I think I've said before, it's just like hard to feel like you're, like when you decorate something for Christmas, I feel like, oh, I just put a bit of tinsel on this pile of shit. Like, what's the point? Um, just because we don't have enough decorations, because our flat was obviously a lot smaller than this house. So it's hard to kind of build it up and make it feel festive. So I really appreciate these beautiful, beautiful Christmassy flowers. I think I will stick them in the living room, even though the rest of the house is quite un-Christmassy. Um, just because that's where we are likely to spend the majority of our time um, on Christmas Day. And I think I will ask Will to put up some, some fairy lights. I do have quite a lot of lights, so perhaps we'll put some along like the picture rail here, maybe some in the kitchen just to kind of up the vibe a little bit. nothingy day I'm afraid apart from getting all our, our bits and bobs done um, we've just been watching telly and kind of relaxing really um, I'm not sure what my next vlog is gonna look like sorry I've got that lights of the Christmas tree it's getting very bright um, I don't know if it's gonna be one day or a couple of days it's due to go up on Christmas Eve um, and I'll just I'll just see where we are what we're at and um, and what we're doing over the next uh, over the next few days. So I don't know what it's going to look like, but I think I will do one probably with a lot of prep, Christmas, <laughs> Christmas prep, Christmas baking, probably some more fun prep than me hoovering. Um, but you know, sometimes it's I don't know, relaxing. I think to watch people do quite normal things or reassuring in a way. So I'm going to go up to bed now, and I will see you in the next vlog. Bye.